If you only have one day to do family activities with your kids in Osaka, I recommend Osaka Aquarium Kaiyukan and Legoland Discovery Center at Temple Zan Marketplace. You can easily spend a day here or even two. Keep watching to find out why. Hey, how's it going? My name is Lin, and today I am down at Osaka Aquarium Kaiyukan and Temple Zan Marketplace. Today we're going to see what you can do in the area, and it's a perfect day out for kids and adults alike. Since I'm basically a massive child, I'm really looking forward to today. Osaka Aquarium and Temple Zan Marketplace, where Legoland Discovery Center is located, are conveniently right next to each other. Access is really easy as it's just a five minute walk from the Osaka Ko Metro Station. If you have the Osaka Amazing Pass, you get free entry to Legoland Discovery Center on weekdays and a free ride on the Santa Maria Bay Cruise. The Osaka Amazing Pass also lets you ride on the Temple Zan Giant Ferris Wheel for free. I'll link it in the description. The great thing about the area is that there's so much more to do than just Osaka Aquarium and Legoland Discovery Center. Let's kick things off with the big one, Osaka Aquarium. Entry costs 2,400 yen for adults, which is anyone 16 and over. Children aged 7 to 15 cost 1,200 yen. And the infant ticket for 3 to 6 year olds is 600 yen. Due to COVID at the moment, you'll need to make an online booking for a timed entry ticket beforehand. Osaka Aquarium is one of Japan's premier aquariums, housing some 30,000 creatures. It's recommended that you spend at least two and a half hours here discovering the animals of the Pacific Rim in their recreated natural habitats. The exhibits are well thought out and the theme of the aquarium is based on the Gaia hypothesis, which suggests that Earth and its biological inhabitants act as one single organism. There's plenty to see and learn about, so I'm sure you'll spend more than two and a half hours here. If you wish to leave the aquarium, for example, to get some lunch, you can get a re-entry stamp. As a fun bonus for kids, they use invisible ink. If you enjoy sailing, the Santa Maria is a cruise ship in the style of a Spanish galleon. It's completely metal and motorized, but your kids may think it's an exciting pirate ship ride nonetheless. The ride around Osaka Bay lasts 45 minutes and costs 1,600 yen for adults and 800 yen for children. There are hourly departures throughout the day. If you have an Osaka Aquarium ticket, the cruise is discounted to 1,000 yen for adults and 500 yen for children. As I mentioned before, if you have the Osaka Amazing Pass, you get a free ride. So let's head into Temple Zan Marketplace. Next door to Osaka Aquarium Kaiyukan is Temple Zan Marketplace. It's a shopping center with mostly kid-focused stores and attractions, including Legoland Discovery Center. But before we head there, this is Shinobiya. It's a ninja-themed gift shop where you can get some really cool souvenirs. And they have another shop where you can play ninja-themed carnival games for prizes. If you've ever wanted to be a ninja, and let's face it, who hasn't, this is the place for you. It costs 1,000 yen for three games. Five misses. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, one point. Oh, yay. Okay. I got one. Okay. Oh, my. No, oh, two point. Total four point. Number eight. Ah, uh, oh. she. Last time. Oh, oh. so prizes. 
chopsticks, Mitsumo Yaiba Carabina. What? Uh, oh, yes. Socks. Okay, and then Demon Slayer. Hey, get this all. Hi, guys. <laughs> right above Shinobiya, on the second floor, is the Morino Sample Fake Food Factory. Japan is as famous for its plastic representations of food as its food itself. Here you can find plenty of souvenirs ranging from key rings to even phone cases. For kids, they can even construct their own fake food dishes in workshops held in the store. Prices for the workshops start at 2,750 yen. The Tempozan Marketplace also has a petting zoo, Tempozan Anipa. In the past, we've visited Kobe Animal Kingdom and it's been our favorite zoo in Japan. There's space for the animals to roam around in their enclosures and some are open so you get a better look at the animals. But unfortunately, this was nowhere near close to it. The animals looked quite sad and they roamed around cold hard floors. They had cats and dogs, which were just fine, but I felt sorry for the kangaroos and the capybara. I'm including this in the video so you can see what the conditions are like and make the decision for yourself, though I wouldn't recommend visiting here. As for food options, there's a food court with fast food and Japanese options, but the most interesting place to dine is the Naniwa Kushinbo Yokocho. It's called a food theme park with a 1960s Showa era retro aesthetic. There are a number of restaurants here for you to try and it really does feel like stepping back in time. Now this I think is super interesting. They've got a rail map from the 1960s of Osaka. Osaka to Kyoto back then was 180 yen. But I think the most astonishing thing of all is Shinkansen prices. To go from Shin Osaka to Tokyo costs 1,180 yen. It now costs about 13,000 yen one way to go on the Shinkansen. This is Popcorn Papa and they have an astonishing 32 popcorn flavors available here. They've even got an Osaka set, which includes the takoyaki, ume katsu, and caramel for 1,080 yen. But I'm just gonna try a couple of them. I'm really surprised with how large the popcorn bags are actually. Look at that, that's quite big for 390 yen. That's the regular size. The large size is 600 yen. We're in Osaka, so I'm gonna try the takoyaki first. Oh, that's interesting, it smells so much like popcorn, yet has that hint of kind of the takoyaki sauce. That's actually really enjoyable. That's really nice. The first thing you get is quite a bit of sweetness. There's a very sweet flavor to it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Walker's Prawn Cocktail Crisps from Britain. There's not a really strong seafoody flavor in there, which is really good if you're like me and you don't like seafood. This, I could eat all the time. By the way, Popcorn Papa is also at Universal City, next to Universal Studios, and they always seem really busy at the end of the day when everyone's leaving the park. So if you're in the area and you don't want to wait at the Universal City line, then come here. This is the Ume Katsuo, and I can smell the Ume Boshi in it. Katsuo, maybe not so much, but it kind of smells smoky. I guess that's that toasted popcorn kind of smell to it. You can taste the Ume Boshi. And very much like the umeboshi chips, which I had in the Okamoto video, this isn't too bad. It's not as sweet as the takoyaki, funnily enough. Not really picking up katsuo though, which is the fish flakes. Between the two, I prefer the takoyaki flavor actually, even though the ume katsuo is their number one. Amezaiku is the mind-blowing art of Japanese candy sculpture. The maker offers a variety of animal designs to choose from. The candy starts out white, then a dash of your chosen color is added. The artist has to work fast before the sugar hardens. Within minutes, you'll have a one-of-a-kind treat. While we're on the topic of candy, Megumiya is a candy shop in the same vein as classic Japanese neighborhood sweet shops, known as Dagashiya. Dagashiya have been around since the Edo period, but were at their most popular post-World War II. They were a popular hangout spot for kids after school offering assortments of cheap candy and toys. But in recent years, Dagashia have sadly seen a decline with the rise of convenience stores. And here we are at Legoland Discovery Center. It's a great place to bring your kids. 
There's plenty of Lego to play with, rides, a playground, an immersive recreation of Osaka in Lego form, and even a 4D cinema. The rides only run at certain times of the day, so in order for you to get the most out of your ticket, you'll need to plan around when the rides and 4D cinema show times are. If you order your ticket online, you can save some money. Adult and child prices are the same. If you're ordering for the weekend, it'll cost 2,800 yen, or if you buy on a weekday, it'll be 2,200 yen. Children two and under get to visit for free. As I mentioned earlier, if you have the Osaka Amazing Pass, you get free entry on a weekday. Also be aware that they close quite early at 4 p.m. One other thing to note is that adults cannot enter without a child and all children up to the age of 15 must be accompanied by an adult to visit. They do hold adult nights one Friday every month. You can visit the website in the description for more details. The Tempozan giant Ferris wheel is a striking landmark that you'll immediately see as you approach Tempozan Marketplace. This 112.5 meter high Ferris wheel will take you on a 15 minute tour of Osaka city from above. Tickets cost 800 yen for anyone three and over. Children under three, ride for free. Again, if you have the Osaka Amazing Pass, you can ride for free as well. There are also completely clear gondolas for the more adventurous. They cost the same at 800 yen per person. Now before we end the vlog, there is one more place I want to visit and I've got to hurry up because we are losing light! Tempozan Park is a very quiet and nice spot to chill for a midday break or after a long day of fun with your kids. Okay, here we go. There's the marker. And here we are, we've reached the marker point right there. We are at the summit of Mount Temple, 4.53 meters high. It was a hell of a climb. Tempozan, or Mount Tempo, holds the distinguished title of Japan's lowest mountain, and you'd never be able to tell it was a mountain at all. It's man-made and was formed in 1831 from earth dredged up from the Aji River to allow easier access to large ships and prevent floods. It was originally 20 meters high. However, part of the mountain was leveled to set up an artillery unit after the fall of the Tokugawa Shogunate in 1868. The overuse of groundwater during the industrialization periods of the Taisho and Shoa eras of the 20th century resulted in subsidence of the earth and lowered the mountain even more. And now we have to climb back down the mountain. And that is a wrap on things to do at Osaka Aquarium, Kaiyukan and Tempozan Marketplace. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part of the video was. And now that you've made it all the way to the end, let me know that you have by using the keyword tall tail, tall as in the mountain, and tail, T-A-I-L, as in fish tail. If you like the video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. My name is Lynn. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.